Well, my weekly video uploads have slowed down. Uh, we, you already seen, I talked about vacation and I ordered a new trans tunnel. Not even, not even close. This one's worse. Uh, also supposed to be for a T56. Mm, and like a Pontiac. This thing would barely go around the transmission that came out of this thing. So, let me show you. Uh, I don't know why I thought this was bigger when I looked at it on Summit. So. I mean... I could make that work, but this thing was 200 bucks. And, uh, I don't think so. So, I'm probably gonna send this piece back and, um, my days off changed. So I got some, excuse me, I got some days off coming uh, it's Friday. I got to work tomorrow, Saturday, and then I've got some days off coming. But we're doing Disneyland again for the park hopper thing. So Monday is out, and I can't go to the metal supply till till next week. So I think I'm just going to... I watched some YouTube videos, and I've seen what some other people did. And I think I'm just going to try to bend up some sheet metal and go from there. I don't know how good it's gonna come out. I don't have a bead roller or anything like that. To, I would like to make that front piece its own piece and then the back section another piece, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out. I want to remeasure and make both sides even. Right now I've got a little more cut out of the driver's side than I do the passenger side. So I won't be able to even mess with this thing till next week. So this is gonna be a short video. I'm gonna have to send that thing back. Um, it just ain't gonna work. Um, could I add metal to it and make it work? Yeah, probably, but dang, for 200 bucks, I can go get a piece of cold rolled four by eight for cheaper than 200 bucks. And do my own thing. Um, I've got some more rear end parts that finally showed up. Gonna eliminate the crush sleeve and go that route. Uh, strange in calves billet, and then the yoke, chromoly yoke. So that concludes all parts that I need for the rear end. I got everything for that now, other than axles. I don't have axles, and I won't have those until Kelly's done. So, uh, it's Friday night. I think I'm gonna hang out here for a bit, have a beer, and just clean up my shop. It's a disaster. Um, just pick some stuff up, turn on the tunes, clean up, and uh, unfortunately, this is gonna be a short video, and it's not gonna go up until tomorrow. It's not gonna go up until Saturday. And then we'll just see what next week brings. Um, I'm gonna have to do some shuffling around so that I can get these videos done on a different date because I am working a different side of the week now. Um, so I guess I'll film again on Tuesday and we'll just see what happens on Tuesday. Maybe I'll go get some stuff and I'll drop a link to the video or to the series of the guy I watched do one in a Chevelle or a Nova or something like that. And I think I can do that. I just don't have a bead roller to make the two pieces, like I said. So, don't want to be rambling on. Um, there's also some metal that I could take out by where the anti-roll bar is, and I could start working on that. I could put the wheel tubs back in, but I kind of wanted to wait to do any of that until I had the rear end back and the axles in it and it back in the car. 
but I don't, I guess I don't have to. I don't know. So kind of at a little bit of a standstill. Um, I also could mess with the dash where the radio was cut out of this car. I cut the piece out of that Ranchero and I'd like to get that back in there so that that looks back to factory. And I'll probably just put, I was gonna put my um, buttons right there for you know ignition and fan and all that BS. But I've got some different ideas. I think I'm gonna remove all of the factory pull outs and that's where I'm gonna put all my buttons. And then where the factory starter hole went, it's just gonna be a like a new car. Um, so I guess I could screw with that. I mean, there's tons of work to do on this car, but you know, sometimes you get set on what you wanna do and then you can't think past it or to be quite honest, that's all I've been thinking about is this tunnel and did I cut too much out? And you know, Again, like I've told you guys, the dilemma for me is how much fabrication junk am I going to buy? Because once this car is done, I don't plan on, unless I wad this thing up and build another one, I don't plan on doing a bunch of fabrication like that. So I'm trying to be very careful with buying a bunch of fabrication stuff that I'm only going to use once doing this. And then after that, so I guess I'll catch you on the next one. And, um, We'll see what happens next week. The Center for Disease Control has reported an outbreak of a new virus that affects the brain
Well, it has been a long time since I put a video out and since I worked on the old bird. The month of May has been very busy. Um, Disneyland, camping, just got back from camping. And it is Tuesday the 31st, I believe. And it's a little late in the afternoon. Had to go run some errands, had to go get some steel. We're still messing around with this tunnel. Um, I returned a piece I got from, from Summit, another T56 panel. I'm not sure if I filmed it or not. But we're back to square one. So I've marked this thing, this uh, floor out some more. I'm gonna cut some more out of it. I'll show you in a second. And then we're gonna run our welding rod over the transmission. I've got some um, like a cardboard paper. We'll take some templates and we're gonna go from there. Um, so that's what's been going on. There's been absolutely nothing going on with the Falcon whatsoever. Uh, I've ordered a few parts here and there, but just so busy, we ain't had time to do anything. So we'll get cranking on getting this tunnel done. We need to get this tunnel cranked out and be able to get this transmission in and out very easily without the engine being able to tilt. I just got off the phone with Tilton as far as the pedals are concerned. I need to get the pedals here and then I need to get a seat here. And then I need to get this bad boy um, sealed up in the back. I got the end back from Kelly. Um, I have an issue with the lower brace. I bought that Team Z lower brace and I think it's gonna run right into where my leaf spring perches go. Um, it's no fault to Kelly's. It's just this little rear end, it's, it's only 45 inches in length, um, the rear end housing, so it's really small. So I'm gonna have to make some brackets onto that deal so that um, it doesn't move when I cut the, t the blower thing from Team Z off of there so that I can get my spring perches in. But I'll, I'll tie all that in as best as I can so that it's still strong and I think it'll still be strong, the front braces in and all that stuff. Um, but today we're just going to focus on this T56, getting this stuff cut out, getting this welding wire to go around the transmission so there's a lot of room, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Well, it's later in the day, Tuesday, and I didn't get a whole bunch done, primarily because I kind of struggled with what I was gonna use to go around the transmission. So I ended up going to Home Depot and getting some straps, like one inch, one and a half inch straps of metal, and I've got them tacked in there how I like them. So let me show you what I got. All right, so I got all these tacked in and trying to give myself room so that this trans, it'd be nice if I could have the main tunnel stay in the car and then this, this back tunnel pop off and slide that trans back. So that's what I've got so far. Now I'll put some paper over that and then at least I'll know what shape I'll need for the metal.
I got the first template done, and then I'll make a second one where that like, goes up to the firewall and comes down. But I've got the car up in the air because I want to see how tight it was messing with the transmission, and there's only one nut, so I put studs in the bell housing. I'll flip around and show you real quick. There's only one that's kind of a uh, nut that's kind of hard to get to, and it's really not even that hard. I was able to get the socket up there with an, with a, a swivel and easy. So I'll show you what I got. So this is obviously, I put I use these studs. Uh, I don't know, I think it might be stronger, but here's kind of looking up at it. Like I say, I can get to everything really easy. There's just one up here on the top that's, I don't even know if I can get it in here so you can see it. At any rate, it's, it's up in there and I can get to it. My only other concern is there's no input shaft in this transmission and there's no clutch. So right now it seems fairly easy to get in and out but that's obviously going to matter too. So um, when I get back towards the tail shaft, I think I'm going to make that whole piece come off. And I'll make the rest of the tunnel weld in the car. I'll make that back piece come off and then that way the trans can get, just come straight back and I won't have any issues getting it in or out. So uh, I may go in I got, it's my first day back. I've been, been off. But I may try to uh, mark out my template real quick. I got some, some 20 gauge coal roll. I got two four by four sheets of that. So I may lay my thing out there and start bending it up. I've seen another guy do this on YouTube and he just took like a, a barrel or something and started bending it over that so I think I'm gonna do the same thing no rocket science here all right that's the piece that I've cut out I've put some marks on there just to kind of give me a reference but I think I'm just gonna try and use this either this Harbor Freight thing or I'm gonna take the thing off of the uh, heater here and I'm gonna use this propane bottle to get the shape. All right, that'll do it for this video. Um, I'll show you what I got as far as this in the car and then we'll catch up on the next video and hopefully be finishing this up. So let me show you what we got. So this is what we got. It looks a little big, but doesn't quite bend as easy as paper and uh, but I think that's gonna work so we'll catch you on the next one and uh, we'll go over some more parts that we got and hopefully try to finish this up <laughs>